Hi, I'm Rosa Corey. I'm the author of Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21, and my website is Democrats Against UN Agenda 21.com. Um, right now, I'd like to talk about what you can do. Uh, I get hundreds, literally hundreds of emails from people, cards and letters, asking me, what can we do now? Things are really coming down. What are we supposed to do now? And I want you to know, first of all, that nobody's gonna rescue you and nobody's gonna come on a white horse to take care of you and protect you. It's up to you. So you're gonna be feeling a lot of panic, a lot of fear. There's certainly plenty of information out there now. You really know everything. I would say that you, it's not like you, I have to tell you to wake up. You're awake, you get it, you see it. Okay, so now the thing is not to become like a deer in the headlights, freaking out and going, oh, I don't know what to do, what can I do? Okay, there's a lot you can do, and I want you to start with this. I have said a lot of times now that uh, during World War II, if you were a German, <clears throat> you know, you think to yourself, oh, I'm a German, okay. Am I gonna wake up in the morning and put on a Nazi uniform? And everybody, all of you say, absolutely not. I would have been in the resistance. Okay, so I want you to know, the resistance is not something you join, it's what you are. Now, that's a nice little slogan, uh, that I came up with, and um, and it's true, but what does it really mean? What does that mean to really be the resistance? What is that? So here's how you're gonna tell if you're the resistance or not, all right? I'm gonna give you a little scenario, and I just, I watched this, <clears throat> it's about a month or two ago on YouTube, woman sitting in the bleachers at her son's Little League game, and uh, she's, uh, she's surrounded by her family members, and uh, they're all social distancing, isolating themselves socially from everyone else in the stands, and everyone else is you know, doing the same thing. And her husband and other people uh, around her have masks on, but she does not have a mask on. So here comes the security guard up the stands, walks up to her, and he says, presumably, hey, you gotta put a mask on, and she says no. They go back and forth, he says yes, she says no a few times, and then he tases her. This is at a Little League game. A security guard tases the woman, drags her out of the stands, okay? Well, <clears throat> yeah, we got to see it because somebody was brave enough to hold their phone up and video it while it was going on. What upset me about this was that nobody did anything to stop this man. No one stood up, no one ran to her assistance, no one blocked this guy, no one said, hey, put that taser down or we're gonna you know, take care of you, right? Nobody did that. And okay, so this is really where it, where it really comes down. What is the resistance? So I want you, after you listen to me, uh, if you would please, go into a quiet, dark room with your chair, sit in that room, close your eyes and think to yourself, what would I do in that situation? I'm in, the, I'm in the stands, what would I do? What will I do when that happens? What would I do? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bam! Here comes the security guard up the stands. What are you going to do? Now you need to ask yourself and you need to think about this, okay? You need to prepare because it's not gonna happen like that. It's going to be some entirely different thing. You're going to be out to dinner in your suit with your wife and kids. You're going to be uh, with your husband in the grocery store. You're going to be by yourself in the post office. You're going to be walking down the street, crossing the street with your child in your hand. What are you going to do when this moment comes up? Because it will. It will. It is coming up right now. Now, if you're like everyone else, you are feeling a degree of panic and fear right now, just generally. You've been locked in your house with a rag over your face, told not to say anything. You're seeing people that you listen to, that you respect on different platforms be removed by uh, corporations that have joined with government to, uh, vo to silence you. Okay, this is what you're watching now. You're seeing this before your eyes. You're worried about food security. You're worried about whether your money's gonna be worth anything. You're worried about you know, your security of your home. Um, you know, I'll tell you one thing, you, uh, talking about uh, preppers and security, those people out there in Montana don't want you. Part of what they're prepping against is you coming out there when you realize, hey man, things are bad, save me. Nobody's gonna save you. 
the thing to do right now is to stop it while you still can, okay? That's what you need to do, stop it while you still can. So there you are, you're in your room, you're envisioning this, now this is important. Take that time. You may be the person who says, well, I guess I would have gotten up in the morning and put on a Nazi uniform because I'm not gonna do anything. Well, then you know, you know that about yourself. Or you run a bunch of scenarios and you get ready and you think to yourself, okay, because when it happens, you will have to act or you will regret it for the rest of your life. You will have regret and it will not come back. That moment won't come back again. So this is it. You owe it to yourself to know who you are. I'm not telling you to be a patriot or a resistance fighter or a freedom fighter or an individual or somebody who cares about yourself and other people. I'm not telling you that. I'm asking you to know who you are. Know who you are. And that will tell you what the next steps are. I don't have to tell you or guide you. You will know. Thank you.